It's a single malt wheated whiskey. At the end, we'll tell you our score and what we think out of 10. Too young in the palate though. Let me just give it a little drop. Subscribe Canal Craft Whiskey Boys. Welcome back to the Craft Whiskey Boys. Jay, Sully, without Mo. No disrespect, but Mo is not with us today. We wish he was. We are trying Polish, not vodka, Polish whiskey. That's right. It's a single malted wheat whiskey. Now, before we tell you everything about it, let's just let you know, the first, this is the two minute review. How the two minute review works is we basically drink it. We got two minutes, no cuts, no edits. At the end, we'll tell you our score and what we think out of 10. It's a scale from zero all the way to 10. Obviously zero being the worst, 10 being the best, and it will be broken up into like 6.4, 7.3. We'll let you know, and it's a fair scoring system. If you tried the whiskey before, comment below with your score, uh, or, if you want us to review something that we haven't reviewed before, then comment below as well. Absolutely. Now, this is from the South. And it's for our Polish fans, who we have a lot of. Yeah, we do. And we've had a few of them on there. One of them actually saying that, uh, that I was really good looking and Sally wasn't. So I really appreciate you. You should comment again. Which is again. obviously a massive lie, so. She's I dare you to comment again. She's a, <laughs> she's a liar. So, for our Polish fans, as he said, one of them has commented asking us to try this and tell us what they think. It's probably not the cheapest of bottles that comes out of Poland. Do we know what this costs, Adrian? 50 pounds. Pounds? 50 pounds. 50 pounds sterling, which is... From the south of Poland, near be, Krakow. Would this be one of the most expensive whiskeys out of Poland? From that shop, yeah. It was from this shop? Yeah. It was okay. Expensive. Okay, so this is like the top that they've got. Now, from what I understand of this whiskey, Wild Fields, it's a very young whiskey. Is it a screw cap? It's, it's only, I think it's only just gone three years old. Now the reason for that obviously is that Polish whiskey's not been around as long as Polish vodka since the 1300s. Polish whiskey's been around a few years. It's very, very young, very, very new. That doesn't mean that it's not gonna be phenomenal whiskey in the future, but this is quite a young bottling, I believe, in the threes. Three years, something yep. like that. So. That's right. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste it and then we've actually got the tasting notes in the case. So we're going to see if we can match up with them. Ooh, the taste notes are in there. Yeah, I believe so. Hey. Oh, the pop. The pop is good. So we can see how good our palates are, or we can see how, how much bad they're, their palates they're, are. they're dressing up their own whiskey. That'll be interesting. So let's bring in Alper for the two minute review. No cut, no edit. Alper, let him have it. Why well, I feel two minute review. Let's do it. Just a tip, just a tip. We have a few reviews in it. It smells like a bourbon on the nose. Do you get that? Do you know what it smells like? It smells like town branch on their nose. I'm just getting massive amounts of mint. It's not mint. I know where you're getting the mint from, that fennel? freshness, it's not. Yeah, it's like, it's, like a, it's like a sugary fennel, is what it's like, like a toasted yeah. fennel. <laughs> I bet you it that is. not on the That's nose. a bloody, that's a, no, I guarantee you they didn't pick it up. It is, it's like a, it's, it's, it's like a fennel, it's a fucking great call. It's like borderline licorice, but like just below, like that toasted fennel when you're making. Interesting. It's quite it's subtle, subtly sweet as well. Just a little bit of sweet. It's too young in the palate though. Let me just give it a little drop. It's way too young in the palate. But there's a lot, I mean, even the fennel comes through in the palate, it's a heap of fucking, um, a heap of licorice, but not like licorice like you're thinking black licorice or anything like that, nothing like that. It's that gorgeous, like nearly Thai basil, um, but not more like a fennel licorice coming through. Like more fennel. licorice on the, on the actual palate. Yeah, more. more. Fennel on the nose, licorice on the palate. It's a little bit dry as well. I like can't wait ethanol to see really it. comes on the finish, but the finish is really short. Yeah. And the licorice is, oh, it's, so it's really ethanally, ethanally, on the finish, and then after the ethanol goes away, there's a bit of licorice left, which is kind of cool, actually. You know, what we didn't mention about this is, it's a single malt wheated whiskey. So basically what that means is they've malted wheat and made it from wheat. So it, that's why it come, tastes completely different. I'm now getting aniseed on the Yeah, bag. it's heaps of it. I would love to know what these tasting notes say, because this is like full on fennel and aniseed and lots of that coming through for us. And that's probably because of that wheat. There's definitely, there's a flowery smell. The ethanol is, is strong, but it's very short. It goes away very quickly, and then yeah. there's more uh, more uh, aniseed on the finish. I would like it to be it's actually slightly. Kind of cool. Where's that? It's at forty six point five, which is nice. It keeps some of the. A lot of people do that because um, 
you don't want to have to chill filter. If you chill filter a whiskey, it tends, some say, to strip out some of the fatty esters and proteins and, and mouthfeel, and it can do that to bring it down below that. If you put it in bottle at 40%, and because you're obviously you're adding water, it'll get all cloudy, so you have to chill filter. They didn't. I'm assuming it's non-chill filtered. Yeah, it's non-chill filtered. Polish oak barrels. See on the nose now, now I'm not getting the aniseed, I'm getting oak. I'm getting lots of oak. I was getting oat. I was getting some oat. You mean oat? Yeah, oat. Yeah, yeah. As in, like, or cereal. But not plural, just oat. No, just one oat. Because there's lots of... One oaty note. If you had a bag of oats, you wouldn't say, I have a bag of oat. And then a bit of <laughs> Which is... cereal un underneath. So before I give the score on this one, John McDougall, I believe, was the, the blender on this. It's from, what, how do you pronounce this? Uh, Silesian? In Polish it's Shlosk, Silesian. Silesian. Silesian in Polish, uh, down the south of Poland, I believe. So they brought in a guy that used to be with like the Balvenny and the and Lefroy and some phenomenal Scottish houses and he's come in and done this. I don't think he's done a bad job. I no, think this is I a think nice if, it, if, it, if it was older, it would actually be really good. It would be phenomenal. Yeah. If they sat on this till this particular bottle of whiskey was 12 years old, 8 to 12 years old, this would be a fucking 8. I haven't, I haven't actually tasted a whiskey like it before. It's, it's like complex, but it's, it's simple yeah. and complex. So yeah, I've never like, tried anything like it. It's got these unique tastes, but you can only usually taste or smell one at a time, and then it quickly changes, um, which is interesting. I've never tried a whiskey like this before, uh, and I'm really, really happy that I did. It, it, for a young Polish whiskey to come off with this much fennel, and like, like uh, if you've ever been to an Indian restaurant, where they, you know when you go in and they have like a pot at the front at the cash register where you can eat, it's like toasted fennel or whatever. I don't know if it's toasted or it's candied fennel, whatever it is, but they give it to you at the end of the meal to kind of cleanse your palate. That's what it comes across like in big volumes and the licorice and all that, it's bloody lovely. I wish that this was another six years old, it would be in the eights. Right now, I'm at a 6.8 for it, which is bloody phenomenal score. For a three-year-old whiskey, I've never scored a three-year-old whiskey above a four. So I'm gonna score this a 6.9. Uh, really, really nice. I liked, it was kind of unusual, tastes that I've never really had before from a whiskey. I wonder if it ages more, whether that sort of uniqueness will disappear. I hope not. I hope they release a similar one that's just a bit older. Uh, so we can see what, it, what it's like, but hopefully it doesn't kind of take, I think that fennel taste might go away if it ages longer, but hopefully I not. don't know, because the wheat's so strong and I don't think it will. I think that will stay there, it'll just become more complex and richer. Total score, 6.9, definitely worth drinking, definitely worth trying. I wouldn't queue up overnight for it, but I certainly, if I seen it in a bar, I would order it, I'd order a dram neat. Uh, maybe two drops of water for this bad boy. Can we check if our rating was similar to, or well, I say our tasting nice. notes. We said like full on fennel, anise, toasted fennel, candied fennel. They are saying tasting notes, color gold, okay. Nose, astringent, earthy, gravelax. Gravelax meaning like smoked salmon. I didn't get any of that. But then again, I can see where they got it from because of the smoke. I've never seen gravelax, gravelax spelled that way. Yeah, it says gravad and then the word lax. Maybe that's after. something that I've never heard of before. Yeah, it is. Maybe that's a thing that I don't even know what that that's is. That's right, we'll give it a And then it says uh, the palate smoky. Yeah, it must be because it's slight, slight fish, fish so and salty. Yeah. Maybe that's just how they spell gravelax. Yeah, no, I get that. Like, if you, if you were to say slightly fishy and salty, I can see where they're getting that, but it's far more licorice and fennel than they it is. They didn't pick up the aniseed and the fennel. They didn't, not the, not the guy. And then uh, light, aftertaste short, <laughs> finish light. Well, at least they're honest, that's <laughs> the norm. <laughs> but the, I, I think personally, the, uh, the finishes, it's not as complex as most finishes, but I think that complexity will come over the next eight years if you give it time to mat, uh, mature. Good stuff. Well done, Poland. Well done. Well done, Poland. That's a very high score for a very young whiskey, so. Subscribe Canal Craft Whiskey Boys. Dziękuję. Do widzenia.